techno-based lines. So simple, yet so hard to get. My name is Tiago Duarte and welcome to Daily Beats, where I help you master the software so that it's just you and music. In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to improve your techno bass lines. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and activate the notifications so that you are up to date with all the videos that I publish about music production. When I started making techno, I get frustrated really fast. One of the elements that were hard for me was creating bass lines. I would hear my favorite sets and DJs and I would think that the bass lines were simple, yet I was not able to make cool bass lines for my tracks. Let me know in the comments below what things are hard for you to make when producing techno. I would love to hear your comments. Let's start with the basics. Techno bass lines tend to be repetitive and don't have too many different notes. I've created techno bass lines with just a single note. This adds tension, which is very important in techno. There are some ways to add variation to a single note bass line, for example, adding distortion, opening up low pass filters, delays, and the list goes on. You will also find a lot of syncopation on techno bass lines. And by adding syncopations, you can create some really cool sounds. You will also find a lot of techno rumble and rolling bass lines. I did a video about techno rumble. I will link it here and in the description if you are interested. For me, techno is all about rhythm. Once you get the rhythm right, you can change the sound with any preset or synth until you find the right sound. But more often than not, I start by focusing on the rhythm and only after sound design. The first example that I want to show you is a rolling bass. This is a simple technique that can give you great results. Let's open the piano roll and draw a note with the length of four bars. Then let's click on Alt plus U. This opens the piano roll shopper. Let's set the time multiplier to the center and hit enter. Now, when we play, we have this. One thing that I like to do is to make the notes a bit shorter so that if I add swing, all the notes play. This is very easy to do and it sounds great on the drums. I sidechain the kick to the bass to get the pump effect and this is how it sounds with the drums. Very simple, but sounds cool. You can also play around with the note velocity to give movement to the bass line. Some synths allow you to program the note velocity to synth parameters. For example, you could set the filter cutoff of a synth bass to open based on the note velocity. And by changing the velocity of the notes, you will actually get different sounds for every note. This can add an extra layer of movement to your bass lines. The next example that I want to show you is using syncopation to make cool basses. You have a ton of freedom here to play around with notes and there is nothing that I can tell you that will replace you playing around with notes until you find something that you like. But I can share with you my process so that maybe it can serve as a framework for you and you can use it to build upon it. Before I put any note on the piano roll, I decide the length of the syncopation that I'm going to create. Let's say a length of five steps. I draw five notes and then I move them around, delete them, make them wider, whatever comes to my mind. After I have the rhythm that I want, I just copy these five steps until I have two or four bars. The notes that pass to the last bar, I just delete them. Let's hear the loop with the drums. Sounds cool. If I feel the bass needs more movement, then I move some notes up and down until I get something that I like. Let's hear how it sounds now. The 
last example that I want to show you is a combination of Rumble and Synth Bass. I personally love this combination. The Rumble gives that characteristic techno sound and the bass adds the extra layer of bass power. I started by adding the Patcher preset Rumble to the kick. These are the settings that I used. The drum loop now sounds like this. I love Rumble. For this example, I'm going to keep the bass line very simple, with a simple note playing 4-4 four, four bars. The kick is also sidechaining the bass, which helps with adding movement to the bass. Let's listen. Now, it's just a matter of experimenting and having fun. One thing that you could also do to give even more movement to your bass lines is to play around with the knobs and sliders of the synth until you get something that sounds good. Then it's just a matter of automating those parameters to taste. Have fun and make great music. Thanks for watching the video until the end. If you learned something with this video, please leave a like and let me know in the comments below what you would like me to talk about next. If you want to support this channel, subscribe and activate the notifications so that you are up to date with Daily Beats, where I teach you how to master the software so that it's just you and music. Peace.